Well, hello there. Good, good evening. Uh, here I am again. I know I haven't been, uh, I haven't created a video in a while, and uh, this is probably not the first that you've seen me create a video in my garage, in the corner of my garage. Um, well, I think you already know what this is about after looking at the, uh, the topic or the title of the topic. Uh, while reloading some uh, 40 caliber rounds, uh, my Facebook messenger clicked up and I said, it's a Marcus, we know, hey, buddy, you know what you're reloading right now, sorry to bug you. Uh, maybe create a video about uh, are you really saving money by reloading uh, what you reload, right? So, um, so I, for about 10 minutes, I pondered upon the question. I said, okay, well, instead of just answering him, I might as well create a video. Uh, I've done this before to where uh, I've answered the question in a different way. Because now, after reloading for about two plus years, and I'm not an expert at this, but I think I do this enough almost every week. Me and my son, we shoot, if we can, no less than 300 rounds a week. 300 blackout primarily and 40, uh, 40 caliber rounds. Uh, I've kind of strayed away from uh, reloading 223556 and 9 millimeters because they're getting cheaper now. And besides, my love is 300 blackout. I think you guys already know that. So I'm going to answer this question two ways. And you're probably going to be surprised with my answer. Uh, for years, even before I came to this country, back home in the Philippines, as a high school student, we used to shoot. Uh, we got pretty familiar with shooting. And for a, 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 a tiny 120-pounder, and that in that era we were shooting the m1 garand 30 odd six 3006 rounds and uh yeah yeah uh and that's all we knew uh we also uh, fired uh the 556 and the old m16s uh so we're, we're kind of familiar with how those rounds kind of recoil back on our flimsy shoulders uh my family uh most filipinos owns 45s 38s there were no nine millimeter in that era or oh, more yet uh, the 40 the 40 came up what uh, the late 80s early 90s so uh we're used to uh, and, and quite familiar with more powerful rounds and caliber than our bodies are able to absorb till i got to america to where now you get used to the two two three five five six rounds which is pretty dominant uh even before i i left the service um i think that was primarily what we used uh in the navy and then of course the nine millimeter got introduced in the mid 90s early 90s uh, for watches, watch stations, etc., etc. Till before I retired, uh, I think uh, in 07, the 300 blackout has not been, what was it, about 10 years ago? Uh, late, late eight, 2018, uh, 2017, right? So, and that has been my love, uh, the 300 blackout. Uh, my very first firearm that I owned in America. I bought in 1993 a 40 caliber pistol and I still own it, a P229 Sig Sauer. And I'm very, very familiar with a 40 caliber round. That's why when I, when the Navy ended up transitioning to the 9 millimeter, um, they were like, really? You know, uh, for somebody that was used to uh, firing a 45 cal, the 40 was a great takeaway from it. You know, it kind of, cross boat boundary so that is what I reload now primarily 40 cals uh, I own two 40 caliber pistols no three 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 two uh, two HNKs uh, in, in my original SIG uh, and two 45s and uh, yeah yeah let's just stop there so uh, why I why I started off having that little discussion is this uh, when you initially reload, the thought process is if I shoot enough rounds, I will be able to save money 
because you know you're obviously gonna save money per round that you're reloading that is true but you're also going to shoot more I mean if I get an opportunity to go around my my little workspace here I have another bigger workbench on that side and another vault on that side the vault alone I, I don't put any 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 firearms in there all I put are brass uh, that other uh, a husky uh, workbench all I put are tools this one all I put are uh, primers uh, spent powder and my reloading dies uh, and a lot more junk here uh, ammo cases etc uh, half my garage is basically my reloading section what that tells you is that as you progress through this that's not even counting the reloaders itself and I primarily pick Dylan the most expensive not to brag but because they have the the, the, the best and the is this the right way to say it? most excellent the, the, they have an excellent customer service I've replaced parts in this thing and they just a hey, 100 percent uh, uh full lifetime warranty so if you're thinking of reloading you got to get the reloaders first then you got to get the dice so bottom line is you're going to spend money initially on all this stuff i've been accumulating brass for three years and uh i reload almost two three days a week so that i'm able to shoot once a week with my son and hopefully with my daughter here soon so so to answer that question exponentially uh are you able to save money in the long run yes now i reload 300 blackout to you guys that shoot you know 300 blackout is not cheap you do the math it's about a dollar 15 to, uh, to more than a dollar 50 some of them two dollars per round i did the math because I know eventually this question is going to crop up. Uh, I am able to reload. Uh, this is 223556. Where's my... I already stowed it away. I am able to reload 300 blackout, right? With a 220 grain. Oh, right here. 220 grain bullet with 12 grains of powder and a 10 cent primer for 40 cents now if i had to use a different type of bullet the 150 grain boat tail uh, this one is soft point uh, i'm gonna have to use a little bit more powder because it's not suppressed for suppressed we just saw a heavier bullet uh, then I'll probably spend about 45 to 50 cents a round, which is still substantial because if you think about it, dollar twenty per round, I just saved 60 percent of the cost, right? So in the long run, yes, it's cheaper, but you end up buying more stuff, you end up buying more powder, you end up shooting more. Let me give you a tip: if your intent is to save money. I wouldn't worry about it because in the long run you'll end up saving more right now if you're shooting two two three five five six nine millimeter it's going to take you longer because those those ammunition now factory ammunition is way cheaper okay now if you're shooting the uh, a 308 uh, 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 a nato round or an ak round a blackout round or, or you're a hunter you're shooting grendels uh, 30 odd sixes 45 caliber pistol rounds uh, 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 44 mags the more exotic rounds and you're shooting more yes the quicker it is you'll be able to save money because those are very exotic rounds right so hopefully I was able to answer your question the answer yes or no okay reload and shoot more that should be the, the the priority on your mind if you're reloading not saving money because if you're just going to shoot 50 rounds a month it's not worth it you, you you can forget about this hobby because by the time 
uh, you're gonna, you, your grandkids are the ones that are going to benefit from saving more, right? So yes, you'll save. No, you won't, depending on what you shoot. All right? So you guys enjoy the evening, and hopefully you take this with a grain of salt. And you guys got any questions? I'm here. Your uh, shooting realtor at your service. Enjoy the evening. Post. Oh, for the post, for the individuals that are, I am proud of you guys. Those that are deployed, forward deployed, to my active duty service members. Remember, the very reason why we get to do what we get to do now being retired is because of you guys out there doing your jobs. Enjoy the evening, folks. Post.